Hey guys, welcome back to Tying Tuesday. My name is Kyle. Today we are gonna be tying up the peach bomb. Um, this was a pattern I came across on Semperfly's Instagram page. I don't know who ties it. So if you guys know who ties it, please put in the comments below. We like to give those guys a shout out when we can. Um, to start for this fly, we're gonna be using a X series size 14 hook from Umqua. Get this guy on the vise here. And we're also going to be using a tungsten jig back bead. Kind of makes this fly pretty unique. Um, to secure this bead down, I do put a little bit of Zappa Gap on this hook. Just to kind of hold that bead in place. It's good there. And then we're going to secure this bead to the top of the shank there. Just like so. The body material for this fly, I'm going to be using the MFC Midge body in a pink. And get this thread started right in the second segment of this bead. And kind of work it down into the last segment there. Trim it out there. I'm also going to take a little bit more Zappa Gap here and coat the back end of this bead. It is kind of slippery with this thread I'm using, so this is to make sure it locks into place there. I'm going to work my thread right down to the back of the shank there and kind of work my way up. And that Zappa Gap should soak into it and stick for you. A nice even coat there. Just like so. All right. Next material is going to be your tailing material. I am using a tan mayfly tails. Grab, I don't know, four or five of these. Get these tied in right on the back there. Just one loose rat. Then I can kind of size my tail up. Just like that. There we go. I'm gonna work my thread down. Just like so. Work it back up. And trim out the excess. There we go. And I'm just gonna kind of build up a thread base on, on top of this shank here. Then we're gonna give this a whip finish and go to our hot spot. Just like so. And trim this out here. There we go. For the hot spot, I'm gonna use a fluorescent orange Semperfly Classic Wax in a 12 aught. Let's get it started here. Nice build up, that rich color on the front end. Trim out the tag, there we go. I'm gonna keep building this up just a little bit here. There we go. And give this a whip finish. So, trim out the thread. Okay, a little bit of, there we go. All right, next, I like to take my solar res bone dry and coat the top of this and the bottom of this fly. Just give it an even coat here. Makes this fly super durable. Like so, I'm gonna hit it with my UV light. Alrighty. Last part of this fly is putting the little black top on top here. I'm using a Sharpie. You can use Solar Res, the colored stuff, or the Loon. 
I find to use the Sharpie is the easiest way to do it. Then I'm gonna take my UV clear thick. Just put a little bit on top here, just like that. Like so, hit this with the torch. And there you have it, the peach bomb fly. If you like this video today, give us a like and subscribe. You can find all these materials online at avidmax.com or come see us in the shop. Thanks for watching.